So, hey, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mission Impact Series with Tracy and Ty, Ty and Tracy. So we're, ta- we're still on the subject of citizen-focused purpose. Last week, we talked about measuring citizen satisfaction. This week, we're going to be talking about develop a map of how citizens experience those journeys. Oh, wow. Okay. That is going to be a pretty good conversation because mapping out your customer's journey is, it's, it's exciting because you get to see the gaps in your own system when you have to do that. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. My name is Tracy V. Allen. I am the owner of TVA Consulting Group. I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyles that they choose to live while impacting the community. I like all that, but a lifestyle and impact. Well, that's, that's the that's the forefront of my name is Tybo yeah. of Tybo Enterprises. I work mainly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Tracy, I you know the roadmap, the journey. That's a serious thing, right? In every business. And again, and I I I mentioned it before, sometimes we just get so caught up in delivery uh, and the service that we're providing that we even forget about the process and the journey of the customer, of the client. (laughs) Well, are they experiencing the path that we intended for them to follow? Are they Mm -hmm. following that from intake to offboard? Are, is this what, whatever that is, whatever we're, we're imagining would happen with them, is that what happened? You know, like the funnel situation, right? Is that right? Is that what we're doing? We're getting them in here and we're, we're wanting them to do this and achieve this by then and then do this and make this decision and do that. Is that what's going on? And in order to find out, again, just like the, the previous session, you got to ask them, you have to observe them, you have to, to, to monitor and, and make sure, hey, is this. Is this where we're supposed to be going? And sometimes you just kind of have to let it go where it goes. A lot right. of times we like to jump in, like, oh, you're supposed to pick B. So come over here and pick B. Sometimes if they're if they're kind of you know driving and they're driving off the road and they might go into C, we may have to let it go to C to see what happens, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. And you oh, you know what? And and you said because it gives you an opportunity to evaluate your own um model and what you're doing, mm-hmm. you must more people than I thought went to see than to be. So maybe I need to look at this and understand why. Like why mm-hmm. is this happening? So I can either if B is the ultimate goal, I need to do something to correct it. But mm-hmm. if it's good, then maybe we should work on making C a little bit better because this is where everybody's trying to go. Right. Yeah. And in the previous video I talked about managing expectations and that's part of the customer journey. Sometimes <laughs> Again, what we say and what people hear are two different things. So if you find that people are misinterpreting what you're saying on a regular basis, you may want to change your message or you may want to put safeguards in between to safeguard yourself from what they're perceiving your message to be versus Mm -hmm. what you're saying. So that means maybe putting things in writing as well as not just saying it and having several um, touch points where you reiterate the same thing over and over again. So at some point when they say, well, that's not what I thought, then you can say, but it was here, it was here, it was here, and it was here. Did you miss all of those points? You know what I mean? So that is part of the customer journey as well. And I like to go through my own customer journey. So when I set up a system or some type of funnel, I take myself through the funnel to see how it works and what would irritate me along the way. And then I was like, okay, because usually we attract the people who are most like us. Usually, not all the time. (laughs) Usually. (laughs) Okay. Um, We attract the people who are like us. We tend to attract people, clients who are like us. When you're creating that um, client avatar or the persona, persona, right? That persona, if you really look at it, it's you. Mm You're like, oh, I want want to serve me. (laughs) It's you. Or it's someone close to you or it's a friend of yours Mm -hmm. right the persona of the person your ideal client Mm -hmm. is usually somebody you can relate to what are you doing you're bringing it you're shaping this person based on 
experiences, right? <laughs> like, okay, I just created the perfect person. And it's right, exactly. <laughs> the perfect person. <laughs> <laughs> so if you take yourself on that client journey and you are getting frustrated along the way at some point, then your client more than likely will get frustrated along the way at some point in time. If you don't know how your own system works, it's oh. kind of hard to relate that to the client. So mm -hmm. know your customer journey, have it. I mean, one of the things I think a lot of people take for granted, which I think is like so important, is create a welcome packet that actually takes them through the process, right? So they have something tangible that they can refer back to. Okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing now. Okay, she said we're going to do this now. Okay, maybe I need to be here. So I need to hurry up and get my stuff done so I can get to that point. But the journey is important. You should have it mapped out. Everybody that works for you needs to know that journey, okay? So that they know where the client should be. If the client isn't there or the client asks a question, so the person who's your customer service or your, you know, your front desk person, they should know the process. It is something that everybody in your organization, they should know how to onboard a client from beginning and how to take that client off your roster. So how to exit that client, how to close that client out of the system. So, yep, that's it for me. That's all. All right. Until next time, everyone. Bye. <laughs>